national tragedy just under a year ago when they lost so many of the players in an air crash. We're now about to see the highlights of this game, the game you, you've already been seeing. And if I say highlights, the man has been able to do something of a genius. It was a very drab game indeed. And that was uh, number four, Kapwambwe Mulenga, making one of the few shots in the first half. Ivory Coast and Zambia playing, of course, realizing they were both in the quarterfinals. And a very good save. That is a, a header there by Dow and the goalkeeper there, James Fury, hardly brought into action, but that was one very important stay for them. Most of the efforts uh, into the penalty area, uh, not quite attacking, I don't think I would uh, use that description of it, came from Yogo Bugre, the man who missed that chance there. So there was no scoring at halftime. And one wondered what the second half would provide. Not at all surprising. It was drawing very much towards uh, a goalless draw. One or two efforts near goal, and the man who'd scored a hat trick in the previous game, Joel Tiehi, just off the target there with that header. Never at any stage did I imagine anybody would score a goal, rather because defences were very well organised and there was a lack of appetite about both sets of players. Ergo, no goals. But there was to be a break. Wasn't to come at this end, but at the other. Notice the Zambia defence trying to catch number 17 Maggie offside. Beautiful little play, and here was a delightful chance for Tiehi to put it away. He did, but he was offside. And look at the change of expression in his face. <laughs> he could hardly believe that. No goal given. And we were all rather taken away that we thought at the time that it was a goal. Hadn't noticed the linesman with his flag up, although the linesman from that picture there was absolutely right. Good piece of skill, though. You have to say that. And so on it drew its rather dreary way towards the end. And then they made a substitution, Zambia. On came Kenneth Malatoli. And with his first touch of the ball, he won the game. Ian Porterfield out of his booth saying, well, his face doesn't actually give that indication, but I'm sure he was saying, thanks very much for that. Now, tighten up in defence. Lovely little touch by Malatoli. Quite against the trend. An incisive pass, getting in behind defenders, and a very good finish. So there we are. Zambia, although the one did not depose uh, the Ivory Coast from the top of Group C, they will now play the runners.